Barbara Hepworth Barbara Hepworth was a British sculptor who was born in Wakefield, Yorkshire in 1903. She was a leading figure in the international art scene throughout a career spanning five decades. Hepworth studied at Leeds School of Art from 1920-1921 alongside fellow Yorkshire-born artist Henry Moore. Both students continued their studies in sculpture at the Royal College of Art in London. Both became leading practitioners of the avant-garde method of drag carving, working directly into the chosen material, avoiding the more traditional process of making preparatory models and maquettes from which a craftsman would produce the finished work. From 1924, Hepworth spent two years in Italy and in 1925 married her first husband, the artist John Skepping in Florence. Their marriage was to last until 1931. From 1932, she lived with the painter Ben Nicholson and for a number of years the two artists make work in close proximity to each other, developing a way of working that was almost like a collaboration. They spent periods of time traveling throughout Europe and it was here that Hepworth met George Brackett and Pete Mondrian. The experience was hugely exciting one for Hepworth, for she not only found herself in the studios of some of the Europe's more influential artists, which helped her to approach her own career with her own figure and clarity, but also found their mutual respect. The School of Paris had a lasting effect on both Hepworth and Nicholson, as they became key figures in the international network of abstract artists. By now married and with triplets, as well as a son from her first marriage, when war broke out in 1939, Hepworth and Nicholson moved to St. Ives. Though she didn't know it, the seaside town would remain her home for the rest of her life and after the war she and Nicholson became a hub for the generation of younger emerging British artists such as Peter Lanyon, Roger Hilton and Terry Frost who was her studio assistant for a time. As she had found, the wild beauty of the surrounding terrain offered a counter to the disruption and destruction of the war. And like her, those artists made paintings and sculptures inspired by the place and the forces and their experience of nature. Hepworth and Nicholson divorced in 1951. Hepworth moved away from working only in stone or wood and began to work with bronze and clay.
Her eldest son, Paul, was killed on 13 February 1953 in a plane crash while serving with the Royal Air Force in Thailand. A memorial to him, Madonna and Child, is in the parish church of San Ives. In her lifetime, however, she was also a major international figure, showing her work in exhibitions around the globe. As a woman in a largely male-dominated art world, Hepworth took an active role in the way her work was presented. She was particular about documentation of her works and collaborated closely with others. Hepworth also experimented with lithography in her late career. She produced two lithographic suites with the Curving Gallery and its director Stanley Jones, one in 1969 and one in 1971. Barbara Hepworth died in an accidental fire at her Triven Studios on 20 May 1975 at the age of 72.